Hey, I'm up here on top of Pettingell Peak. Um, I'm down on the windbreak right now because it's a little windy and I want to make sure you can hear me. Uh, the visibility is actually a little, it's pretty good. It's a little bit hazy today. Um, but what I'd like to do is pop up above the uh, windbreak and give you guys uh, a 360 view of so many 14ers around here and so many 13ers and so on. So let's see if I can do that and hopefully you can still hear me through the video. All right, so we're on top of Pettingell Peak and we will start over here. I started my uh, trek today from Jones Pass, which is at the top of the road, and I uh, took my bike along this ridge line, parked my bike down there, and uh, hiked up over here along the ridge. <coughs> so over there you can, uh, you can see Long's Peak, and that's the whole Rocky Mountain area. You got Snowdrift and so on. Never Summer Mountains, Clark Peak over there. Uh, swinging around from Long's Peak and Meeker, you got the Indian Peaks in that direction. And there's North and South Arapaho, uh, which is those very uh, rocky ones on the on the right side of that ridge. Over here, you got Perry, Flora, and Colorado School Mines peaks, uh, Engelman, and uh, Bard Peak as well. There's I-70 down here, and uh, Herman Gulch is this whole area down below. It goes out to the uh, the highway. You got Mount Evans and Beerstadt with a sawtooth between. And right here you got Tories in the front, Greys in the back. Uh, those are all those are 14ers right there. You can see the Loveland Ski Area and the Loveland Pass uh, going up over the ridge right there, which puts Grizzly Peak right there uh, between A Basin and the Greys and Tories uh, peaks. So you got Loveland Ski Area, A Basin. You swing over a little bit, you can see Keystone, and um, swing over even further, and you can see Breckenridge Ski Area over there. And so you got uh, Brayus Pass, that area, and then uh, Quandry is going to be in that direction. Looking back towards the Collegiates, the, the pointy, you know, pyramid-looking one in the background over here is Elbert, the highest mountain in Colorado, uh, highest 14er. You can see Frisco down here, and I-70 keeps going up through that canyon. And uh, as we come around over here, there's Buffalo in the in the front, it's kind of a rounded top. And in the right on top of that is Holy Cross. I come to the left a little bit and you can actually see Castle and Pyramid. Uh, they're hard to see, but they're in the far background uh, back there, which is pretty neat. So this whole area right here is the Gore Range uh, with, with Jackson all the way down to Mount Powell and Eagle's Nest. And that swings up towards uh, the Kremlin area uh, where you have, you know, you can head on out towards uh, Steamboat. Uh, I believe it's in that direction. And uh, yeah, I think it's in that direction. And there's the, there's, actually it's probably over there, because there's, Kremlin is that way, and then there's the uh, reservoir down here. You can also see the burn scar uh, from the burn, from the fire that happened, uh, the Williams Fork fire, that burned up towards Jones Pass uh, about a year and a half or two ago now. Um, that left its, left its mark, uh, but you can see it didn't go over the pass, fortunately, and, and didn't get all this beautiful forest down here either. So, um, yeah. It's beautiful up here. We're about uh, 13, almost 13,500. Um, there was another gentleman up here that climbed up, um, whom I met up here. But otherwise, I have the peak all to myself, and it's another great day for a hike.
top of Jones Pass. I just biked down all this from Pettingill over there. So I had biked over to a saddle that's just around the ridge there. Brought my bike to that saddle by foot, pretty much, and hit it behind that, that rock over there, that saddle area, and then climbed that ridge up to the top of Pettingill, and then uh, videotaped it on the way back down for you guys. Uh, but I wanted to show you uh, Jones Pass. This is the side that you come up from um, from Empire, and there's Henderson Mine down there. You can see Red Mountain. There's a big hole in the middle of Red Mountain there, uh, where they you know dropped a glory hole and, a, and are mining out the mountain from the bottom. Um, so I think that's pretty amazing. Um, Long's Peak is over there. You got Indian Peaks. You got the Apache Peaks. Uh, I mean uh, Arapaho Peaks. You can see the Jones Pass Road uh, comes up from down there. A lot of people do overnight. Uh, camping down here. Uh, you got Vasquez Peak. Um, over that way, let's see, over that way is going to be the backside of uh, Winter Park. Uh, let's see, so that's uh, Colorado School of Mines over there. So Bertha Pass is over there. Winter Park is down uh, that forested uh, ridge over there. So I'll come over here, look on this side of Jones Pass. A lot of cars up here today. It's um, early September. There's no snow at the cornice uh, at the little pass there, which is the first time I've seen that happen. So here we are on the other side of Jones Pass, the west side now, and you can see there's uh, there's a, actually a snowmobile and a backcountry touring uh, placed on there. You can see where the forest fire started over there, the Williams Fork forest fire started over there, burned its way all the way up to here. And fortunately, that's where it stopped because uh, there's so much beautiful forest back here. I was really uh, dreading that it was all burned away. Um, you got another view of Pettingle over here. Um, you're looking towards uh, Citadel and then on towards Quandry. And as you go this way, you can actually see Holy Cross in the background there behind the Gore Range, which is all this. That's Jackson over there. There's Powell and the Eagle's Nest and Steamboat would be out that way. And then uh, if you were to see this way, that's Byers Peak, peaking over there. And then you would be able to see um, Never Summer Mountains off in that direction. So um, it's completely possible to drive down there. I mean, there's plenty of vehicles down there right now and to drive on a little ways down there, uh, but it does dead end about three miles from here. So another great day for a hike and bike.